a very warm welcome to one and all i am rohini ganesh batwal from gukhle education societies jdc bitku english medium high school with 8th standard science subject and the topic is force and pressure can you tell me students what is force correct a push or pull on an object is called force activities like kicking opening pulling closing hitting etc shows application of force now students tell me what happens when force interact if you choose a heavy box and try to push it the box will not move now if you ask a friend to help in pushing it in the same direction it moves let us see effects of force students consider a thin rubber balloon and blow air into it the shape changes then tie its open end with a thread now press the air filled balloon again the shape changes that is due to the effect of force now let us see what are the types of force there are mainly two types of force are there contact force and non contact force contact force are muscular force friction force and mechanical force whereas non contact force are electrostatic force gravitational force and magnetic force let us see what is contact force students a force is seen to act through a direct contact of the objects or via one more object such a force is called contact force now let us see what is non contact force a force is applied between two objects even if the two objects are not in contact such a force is called a non contact force students let us see the example of contact force can you push or lift a book lying on the table without touching it or can you lift a bucket of water without touching it the answer is no generally to apply a force on an object our body needs to be in contact with the object so we can say that contact force are the forces which act on bodies when they are in actual contact now let us see what is muscular force when we push an object such as a box or lift a bucket of water then the force is caused by the action of muscles in our body this force is known as muscular force for example cutting the vegetables or fruits with the help of knife hammering of a nail with the help of hammer let us see the non contact force students do you know why the leaves or fruits fall to the ground when they detach from the plant very good yes this is because of gravitational force the force due to earth's attraction is called the gravitational force this is an example of non contact force let us move towards magnetic force the force between two magnetic poles placed at a suitable distance is called the magnetic force in which like poles ripple while the unlike poles attracts each other a magnet can exert a force on another magnet without being in contact with it so the force exerted by a magnet is also an example of non contact force see see the figure student in the first figure both magnet are attracting towards each other whereas in the second diagram they are repelling each other do you know when we rub a tube through dry cloth and bring it near the thread the thread is attracted towards the thread this is because on running the tube through the dry cloth an electrical charge is generated on the tube this is called the electrostatic charge this is an also an example of non contact force now let us move towards the pressure students try this take five wooden boxes of almost the same size fill them with the scrap iron to make them heavy arrange these boxes on a wooden table placing them side by side see the impact of the push force 
and this box is on the table. You will notice that the table remains normal and it is not affected by the push force that is weight of boxes upon it. Can you guess why does this happen? Though the force applied in both the cases is same but in the first case impact is less and in the second the table bends. This activity proves that both the force and its coverage area are important. Smaller the area on which the force act, greater is the impact and the phenomenon is known as pressure. We can also say that pressure related to the force. Now let us see daily life examples of pressure. Have you ever noticed that why school bags have white straps? Why sharp knife cuts better as compared to blunt knife? And why the tip of the needle is sharp? In our everyday life, we all experience the impact of pressure. A school bag has wide straps so that the weight of the bag may fall over a large area of the shoulder of the child. Thus resulting in less pressure on the shoulders. And due to less pressure it is quite comfortable to carry the heavy school bags. Now see second, a sharp knife has a very thin edge. It cuts object better because the area of contact is very small. The force of our hand falls over a very small area of the object, producing a large amount of pressure and the large amount of pressure cuts the object easily. See the third, due to its sharp tip, the needle will put the force on a very small area on the cloth, producing a large pressure sufficient to purse the cloth being stitched. Do liquid and gases also exert pressure like solids? Do you know what happens when you blow air into a balloon? See students, it exerts pressure in all directions. That's why the balloon increases in size and shows equal enlargement in all the directions. The same is also true for the liquid. It also exerts equal pressure in all the direction. When a plastic disc submerged in water, it does not fall down. It is continuously pressed against the glass pipe by the pressure of the water. This implies that the water exerts pressure in all the direction. Air and our atmosphere. We know that there is air in all around us. This envelope of air around the earth is called as atmosphere. Actually, air has weight and therefore exerts pressure. The pressure of the air upon the surface of the earth is called atmospheric pressure. Note that atmospheric pressure is decreasing as we go up and up. On an average, the weight of air on our head is 1 kilogram per centimeter square. Let us see daily exp life experience of atmospheric pressure. Do you know what happens when you sip the cold drink? The air pressure inside the straw is reduced and the air pressure on the surface of the drink pushes the drink up into the straw to reach our mouth. In case of a syringe, the doctor dips its nozzle into the liquid and pulls the piston thereby lowering the air pressure inside the syringe. In another example of ink filled fountain pens that have rubber tubing, the rubber tube is pressed to push out the air from it, thus reducing air.